Welcome back and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Today we're going to blog a Mysterious Places and Events, Episodes 20. I took a trip, two trips to Brazil, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and it's one of the largest cities in the world. It is just crazy how many people live there. I flew into Sao Paulo and when I was taking my taxi to my hotel, the driver said, hey, roll up your windows. And I said, why? And they said, because of those kids. They're little kids, like 10, 11, 12 years old. And I go, I'm not worried about them. And they go, roll up your window. They have Coke bottles. They break the Coke bottles as nice and they go ahead and they'll attack you. And I'm like, what? So I went ahead and rolled up to my window and these kids were like coming up to the car with like Coke bottles. They wanted to like rob me. And I thought, welcome to Brazil. Welcome to Sao Paulo. I started wondering if I made the right decision going to Brazil. I mean, that country has very rich people. The richest of all rich people, a few of them, and then most of the people are very, very poor. The country is just stricken in poverty, and I thought, maybe I made the wrong choice here. Sad to say, almost nobody spoke English. Everybody spoke Portuguese. I don't speak Portuguese. Also, the houses, it was kind of weird is that the houses have barbed wire, the fencing, the barbed wire fencing to keep the criminals out. All the houses had it in the front of their yard, the walls, the back of the walls, barbed wire everywhere in Brazil. It was just nuts. I thought this place must have a lot of snatchers and robbers because they're trying to keep everybody out. I heard this fable that the Brazilian women were the most gorgeous women in the world. And when I went there, there was no gorgeous women. All the women were like local girls and they weren't very beautiful. And I was just really shocked. I went to a karaoke and I sang California girls. And I said, I wish they all could be California girls. Cause the girls weren't very pretty. I was really shocked. And I said, I'm not gonna look at girls in Brazil. Sao Paulo, like I said, was a huge city. And I said, I want to go to Rio de Janeiro. It was about an hour and a half north of Sao Paulo. And I said, take me there. And we went and there's lots of toll roads. Like every like one kilometer, you had to pay money. It was just crazy. But finally, I got to Rio de Janeiro. They say Rio de Janeiro has the best beaches in Brazil. So I said, I like beaches and I want to go ahead and see the best beach in Brazil. And the sand was just like Newport Beach. It was nothing special. There was lots of people on the beach too. I also took this tram to the top of the rock and it was very beautiful. One of my most memorable trips of Brazil. It was gorgeous overlooking the city.
Also, I could see the statue of Jesus far away. It was just gorgeous. I was like, this is my best view of the whole trip. My friend, Oscar, he just is in Brazil right now, and he said, the beaches are not that nice. I like the Brockai beaches, he said. It's much better than Brazil, and I agree. The Brockai beaches are much, much better. And everywhere there was thieves and crime lords and drug lords. The place was crazy. There's police, there was guns, there was shootings. I was like, this is not my kind of place. I would never retire there and I would never move there. And I would never find a girl to have a family there to stay. I'll get the heck out of there. Well, headed back to the airport, I had to get out of there after a week or two. I couldn't take it anymore. There was like people trying to rob me. I hate to paint such a bad picture, but I'm telling the truth. And I was seeing this concert. There was Jethro Tull, an old rock band called Jethro Tull from America or England. And they were playing there and I wanted to go see it, but I had a plane to catch to go home. My plane arrived at Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, the airport, and I said, America, America. I was so tired of being in a country that nobody spoke English and that lots of crime was there. I went ahead and kneeled down and I kissed mm, the ground. I kissed the ground in America. I said, I'm out of Brazil. Well, that's it. Mysterious places and events. Episodes 20, the Brazil experience. Don't go there. I'm sure some of you won't like me to say that, but Brazil was definitely not my favorite place to go. And it was just an experience, and I'm happy to have done it and to come out alive. So thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. There's other videos here. You might want to go ahead and take a look. So please like, share, subscribe, and always ring that bell.